Well, I'm using the uh, detector in uh, Fortorn, and I've got my iron to get rid of her up to maximum four. So it's fairly quiet. Uh, I'm not getting any blips, but I am picking stuff up. There's a nice chunk of lead there, and uh, I'm not sure what you are. Ooh, piece of lead with weirdo markings on it, and a really nice substantial dome button there. Look. Uh, it give a, a 56. It was about four inches down, that's all. Hey, I just made my mind up. Uh, this is my last sweep along here. I'll leave this bit. And then I was going to go up there on, by, the, by the houses. So what happens? I get to Button. <laughs> and I get a George. <laughs> oh dear. George third. 1806 half penny. Actually, it's not bad, Nick. Uh, you can see his head there, look. And uh, just up by my finger, you should be able to see three ones for George III. And the date down there is. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> 1806. So I think we'll give this a bit more uh, welly. <laughs> now that's. Uh, <laughs> One big chunk of lead. Big FD94. I was wondering what was going on there. So I've decided to stay down here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'm running in Fortone at the moment and with the iron sounds turned off. And it, it's deadly quiet for <laughs> quite some time. And then it goes wallop. <laughs> so I quite like it actually. There's no annoying uh, chatter at all. Every time I threaten to leave, I'll think of leaving. <laughs> Throws me another bone. <laughs> Look, George III, another one. Substantially bigger than this, uh, the other one I found. So I've got a feeling it's a 1797, one of these uh, cartwheel half pennies, as they call them. But it's 1799. 1799, yes. Uh, oh well. Oh. Well, they were writing on the edge, not to worry. So we're two Georgian up already, and I'll have to keep going down here. <laughs> In the bog. Eureka! <laughs> I have found it. <laughs> Georgian Silver. Now I'm not sure who he is at the moment. Uh, probably George Third. But, uh, I can't really see a date anywhere. Unless that's... no. I'd only be guessing. Yeah, George. But... Where's your name? Where is your name? I think it's a sixpence. Uh, Come on, come on, come on. Come on, horn in on that bit down there. That's where I want to be, down there. Is that... Is that 1814? <laughs> anyway, George and Silver. <laughs> Every time I threaten to leave this place, it throws me a bigger, a bigger one. I suppose a bit of gold is too much to hope for. <laughs> Let's not be greedy. <laughs> oh, another Georgian halfpenny. What's that? Four Georgian now, isn't it? Doing well. I didn't think they'd be down here. Just shows how wrong you can be. Look at the size of that leg. <laughs> it's a good job I'm right back to me rucksack, <laughs> which I use as a marker. <laughs> I'll go in my rucksack. 1914. <laughs> Bronze Penny, uh, George V. Uh, you can see what depth I'm getting them out of. They're a spade deep, and then there's a, about three inches below that. I mean, these things are fairly deep. I've got a perfectly quiet detector going on. It's giving me three bleeps. It's a low bleep when it goes over cow manure. <laughs> a medium bleep usually for uh, bottle tops, um, no, silver paper. And a high pitch 
it's coming out with the goodies. I'm, I'm quite happy with the settings I've got on this dais at the moment. But I'm not happy with that. The, uh, the mountains are disappearing in the cloud. <laughs> it's gonna... I think I'm gonna get surrounded by a low cloud any time. Oh, there we go. There's a, a pewter spoon in situ, look. The, the shovel does well for me. It just digs to the right depth. The sod comes out in one piece. And the goody is usually just there waiting to pick up. Or two or three inches deeper. Yeah. Nice spoon. Pewter. You know, I've only got to think about leaving this site and going up near those houses and <laughs> I get another goodie. <laughs> I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> Let's see if that works. 1902 Penny. Edward Seven. <laughs> it's a bit smooth, but it's very good condition. It's not grotty. Look where it's coming from. <laughs> a bog. <laughs> I need me oh. well. Hills have nearly disappeared now. <laughs> ah, right, I'll just, uh, just come up with a nice little uh, button. Um, about a 40 odd on the, on the reading. I'm just working my way up um, the edge of this because I'm going to have a look up there before I go home. Well, that's the plan. <laughs> I've done this field from here down to the bottom and I've had a look at this top bit but I haven't done it properly so that's going to keep me busy for the next, what, two or three I was days? I wondering where the buckles have got to. <laughs> just on my way up onto that hillside there and just by the gate. Nice big 88. Yeah, bronze buckle. Just having a quick look around this uh, top field here. Well, the lower of the top field. And uh, that was a peculiar signal and a half. Uh, it <laughs> sort of a curious high, very low but high pitch. It's brass. It's heavy. It's weird. <laughs> well, I had a quick look up there, very disappointed. So I'm working my way back down now, I'm going home because <laughs> the cloud is coming in, everything's disappearing in the mist. Uh, so I'm just walking back through the Georgian field as I shall call it, uh, detecting of course and uh, lo and behold, <laughs> that's got to be one of the tiniest buckles I've ever had. <laughs> Yep. Curious. Curious around curious. <laughs> oh. Right. On my way home. Eureka! <laughs> Finally find the Georgian silver, but um, we'll start with the junk height as usual. <laughs> lead. Lead. <laughs> Big chunk of lead. Lead. So it's always sometimes got all these weird marks on and oh you know let your imagination run riot but they're not real. Another bit of lead there. Bit of lead there. So that's the lead. I'm gonna make a fortune on lead. Right, junkite. Weird and wonderful thing with a stop on there, look. Uh, Hmm, no idea. This looks fairly modern, but it was down deep. Looks even to be aluminium. Now, ho oh, ho this weird and wonderful signal I got off this. It's bronze and it's heavy. Boom. And of course, the, there's a bar slots into there, isn't there? Doesn't appear to have broken off anywhere though. Right, let's get on to some goodies. Hey, spoon. Big one. Uh, what is it? I think it's pewter. What's that I've seen? Nothing. <laughs> it is pewter. Just knocked a chunk out of it. <laughs> 
buttons, wow! Um, a dome button lock and a nice flat headed button. Yeah, they weren't down that deep, they were only down about four inches. Um, it's either get them at four inches, be underfoot, they're out of range. Now, Look at this tiny little buckle. And that curious connector on it there. Uh, can't say I've had one that small before. Not in bronze anyway. Someone will know what it is. Well, let me show you some more silver. See this other buckle? It's it's silver plated. Or it was, look. On the places where uh, couldn't be worn off, it's still there. That is silver plating. Now, with what I know already, this leads me to believe that that field, that dead end field, was where they did horse trading. Uh, that's sort of a market, you know, but not medieval. Um, earliest I can get back is, is um, well, well, look, uh, about 1800. Uh, so it's George and George three, George four, uh, um, Edward. Well, Vicky, of course, Victorian Edward, and through into George five. But uh, two nice buckles. But they had prize horses in that field, and some of them had really fancy gear on. I found the rosette. Rosette, remember? Um, in all of the finery. Yeah, it was a horse trading field. I'm sure it was for the village. Now that's going to set me on finding the horse trading fields for other villages. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, now. These come out of the bog. Look at that. Look at the sharpness on it. 1914. Underwater. In, in a foul smelling bog water. But there's no oxygen, so they couldn't corrode. Look at them, sharp as a pin. No corrosion on the edges. Oh, if only the Georgian would come out like that. <laughs> and that's, that's 1914, of course, and that's uh, George V. Now, going back in time, we've got uh, a 1902, again, um, found pretty much in the bog water and Edward there, Edward Seven, look but then we go on to the Georgian coins and the copper just can't, it just can't stand that soil eaten away, eaten away right, now come on, come with me <laughs> right, let's see, there he is his face is in front of my thumbnail, look, his nose is pointing to the right. And up on the top there, can you see, one, two, three, it says, Georgius, one, two, three, George III, 1806. And there is Britannia. Oh, you can even see some writing around there, look. Uh, Britannia. And there she is. 1806. The date is under the head, but I uh, can't see him. And then, what at one time I thought was a, was a penny, George and Penny, is in fact, I've been told, 1799 half penny. It was the, they had the cartwheel, giant cartwheel penny and two pennies. And they also had a giant um, half penny. Oh, he's in there, look, just, you can just see his ear roll. Can you see his ear there, look? Seventeen ninety nine. Uh But, oh, dearie me, really gone. So now, beast de resistance. <laughs> George. George the Third. I've been looking for you for a couple of weeks now. Um, where's, the, where's the three? I know there's a three in there somewhere. 
And oh, there's a, there it is, there it is. Just in front of me, thumb look. One, two, three. Well, one, 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 actually. George the Third. I said on the video it was uh, 1814, I thought I saw 14, but the date's under that head and it's gone completely. But they only made them from uh, 1816 to 1820. So uh, it's got to be uh, that date. Pretty worn, but oh, what the heck. I'm rather pleased. Went looking for George and Silver and finally found some. And I've got about a third of a field left yet. <laughs> so, from me feeling uh, in a eureka mood, haha, <laughs> I found you. <laughs> I wish you uh, good hunting, and until we meet again, bye.